Um, hi, my name is Nathan, and I am the founder of SurfSense. What did I have for breakfast? I skipped breakfast. I, I rarely eat breakfast at that time. But no, I was working. I was up late last night working uh, on some software for a startup. Yeah. So essentially, uh, what we want to do is bring intelligence to the way that we understand our oceans. So particularly for surfers, uh, that means. Uh, building an infrastructure network of wave measuring buoys around popular surfing and rock fishing spots to give us a better understanding of exactly what is happening in those locations in real time. So for surfers this means knowing uh, whether your favourite beach uh, is having a really good break at the moment or not uh, and also uh, when you're in the water hopefully long term goal is to be able to provide data to you in the water in real time so that you know when the biggest sets of the, way of the day are coming and you can paddle a little bit further out to catch those waves. We're also going to be providing uh, data to lifeguards, to surfing competitions, uh, and lots of different other organisations as well. Yeah. Um, I sort of worked throughout university on making and prototyping a lot of different uh, products or robots or or certain sensors. Uh, and then after university, it clicked that actually, hey you know, I could make something solve this particular idea, solve this problem, and it could be a viable business. So that's when it started straight straight after university for me. Uh, I did a combined engineering and commerce degree, so I majored in uh, mechatronic engineering, which is essentially robotics. Surfing is a passion of mine, and it was a, just a natural sort of thing to choose to start a business in. Like, I, I, I like the idea of solving problems, um, so, uh, not just engineering related, but anything that is hands-on where I lead to benefiting, I guess, uh, some group of people in some ways. Yeah. So the more, I guess, that you pick up along the way in terms of skills, uh, yeah, with sort of being really hands-on to get involved in a project whether it's at school or at university uh, that involves you learning the skills that you want to learn um, and even put yourselves in uncomfortable situations where maybe you start off having no idea what you're going to be doing on that project but then you find yourself picking up something that you never thought you'd be able to do. Um, so that's kind of where eventually over time you build up sort of lots of those different uh, areas of interest and skills and suddenly one day it all just clicks and all fits together and, and you can go off and, and do your own thing with it and that's that's how people start start a business is that they know they know really a lot uh, sort of in depth about one particular thing and they might also have broad skill set in other things and fitting it together is just a big sort of jigsaw puzzle yeah.